Welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric Server. Today, I thought that we could start steampunkifying the place because so far, this is just pretty much just a, a generic uh, medievalish, uh, Victorianish style thing. Uh, not even that much Victorian. And steampunk is. Give me your sax. Thank you. Steampunk is Victorian. Uh, now, I brought some supplies with me, and what I thought I, I would start doing is actually placing a little bit of, of grey glass here, uh, which will do, uh, I hope, wonders. Uh, you can go there. I hope wonders uh, in uh, making the place look a little bit uh, noir. And war is good for steampunk, uh, so a little bit on the dirty side. Uh, and this uh, this is the the purpose uh, of uh, this section here. So let's just do this. Yeah, there you go. And go on to the third floor and do a little bit more of this. All right, all right. Uh, now, how do we steampunkify a thing? Well, we need uh, steam stuff. And I was thinking, uh, ba basically it's a lot of water-based mechanical things, or, so water-based energy production, or steam-based energy production, and uh, mechanical machinery, uh, which uses actually water or water, the water force. So I was thinking, maybe a little water tower would do wonders in helping to establish a theme. And this little section right here, where I plop down my bed, seems like a good enough uh, place. Uh, what I thought I would do is actually make a little mm, sort of a drill uh, yeah, kind of like a, a drill or a pump uh, around this bit, uh, around this part, and then a water tower here uh, with possibly some li uh, some fire underneath, uh, like it's boiling the water, uh, and then possibly, possibly a pump, a uh, pump, a pipe going into the ground. And that's pretty much it. Let's just see if the, no, there's no water underneath there. Into the ground. I think that that would give the idea that there's steam being produced and piped underground to to provide some sort of uh, energy uh, to all this housing. So uh, I think the, that's uh, that's the next plan, and possibly today start working on the remainder of the bridge. So on the little pillars there, uh, and possibly a little bit of red clay? Possibly? I don't know. Alright, let's see what I can come up with. You know what just occurred to me? That I used too much wood to actually put fire underneath here. <laughs> so yeah, no, let's refrain from, from setting our stuff on fire shall we uh, this is pretty much what i've done with the with the thing uh, unfortunately it, it ended up on, on a top slab so i had to add a light there and mm, actually what we can do and this just occurred to me is get rid of you and bam there you go. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. No ugly torch there. I know, I know, the place is crawling with ugly torches. Uh, but uh, regarding what I was saying, uh, let's just grab a nap real quick or all the endermen from hell will spawn. My cell phone is vibrating. Ah, man, no! No, do not call me at this time. No, oh, I'm not picking up. I'm not picking up. All right. Uh, what what was I saying? Ah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Right. This isn't exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. There you go. Let's just scooch on over here. 
and go up. So we have something drawing the water from there all the way into there. And what we want is for a some sort of a mechanism to be present. And an awesome mechanism to have present in all all that is steampunky is uh, uh, uh I I have what it takes. I have do I not have... I'm making another crafting table. I'm making another crafting table. Because I don't know what I did with the last one. And I'm making these. So that I... I had some... can make this. There you go. The whole process. How to make chiseled stone bricks. That's gonna be the name of the thing. Okay. And you know what? Ugh, you know what? We're gonna have to go back down. Because we are not that rich on wood, and I really need some sticks. Some sticks, and do it like that, and then put it like, uh, like this, and bam, 51. Eh, probably enough. Probably enough. Okay, and you can go. Uh, I know, I know, I didn't go with the dark gray glass, but I still might, so I, I am just hoarding all the ink sacks I can get. Plus, you can never go wrong with with having too many ink, ink sacks, or better said, you can't have too many ink sacks, because they're they're kind of hard to get unless you have a, a squid farm handy. And mine, which is to say bananas, is a little ways off. So I take the uh, every opportunity I can. Okay, okay. So let's see if I can make this work. Uh, and by oh dear lord, what happened here? Can I not? Oh, I had just placed it. So that's one, two, three, and four. And let's... Five. Okay, five. Ow. Uh, pro oh, well, that, that was... Yes, that was wonderful. And not digging it. Not digging it. Uh, something's missing. Something's missing. I think I'm gonna try with logs. Well, and here's what I've come up with. Not the prettiest sides. I don't know. I am not used to making these sorts of windmill. I'm not used to, to making windmills, period. But um, without wool, it's really my first. Uh, so I don't. I didn't follow any particular design that I've already seen that does work. Uh, and I tried to, to keep it straight. I could have made it kind of curly, but for this purpose I wanted it straight. Maybe if I gave it a little slope, uh, it would have turned better. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, will this... Mm, this is too close. If I go here for the exit pipe... Uh, where should the exit pipe go? Maybe on the other side? I wonder. If the exit pipe comes out here, it'll be just about on top of the house. And on this side, we have the windmill. Mm, where does the land go? The land goes up to the wood. So I think I want one of these guys to go hither. Uh, and the other guy to go here, and I'll extend this walkway a little bit further. Uh, yeah, that is the plan. So, bang, bang. Uh, let's just dig it a, a wee bit more. And now, just... Uh, God. Now just go up into the mysterious mechanism. I wonder where it's gonna come out. Uh, let's say it'll come out from there. There you go. No spillage. No spillage at all. So let's just do it very simply like Sue. So. Sue. So. <laughs> yeah, you thought I could be full, did ya? There, there, and there. Now just get rid of a couple of these guys. Pick that up. And go like... Ugh. And like, eh. and I'll pick that up. 
because I screwed up. Put it like that, and then pick that one up and put it here, and we have ourselves a beautiful infinite spring. Okay, that ought to be good. How the hell did I get up here? Ugh! Oh well. Oh, I forgot this one. There you go. And there. So now it should look like something with a purpose. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Yeah. Wind turns windmill, pumps up the water from a spring there, which mysteriously needs to go up through there, into there, and down to there. <laughs> well, actually, it does make kind of sense, because if there's a well here and you want water pressure, you're gonna need some sort of mechanism to pressurize the water. So, I, I guess it, it does make a little bit more sense to, than I'm making it out to. Uh, okay, now, I've decided not to start with the bridge yet, just because I don't feel like it. Uh, so, I think we're gonna start with our little first dinghy, our first boat thingy, which will help us determine a little bit of the uh, of one of the piers for the small ships the, that will be uh, scattered throughout this bay. So I am going to get myself ready, uh, grab a screenshot of the brand new windmill, and I'll come straight back. Okay, I wasn't gonna start recording right now, but I just teleported from over there up to here. I think this is video worth it, worthy. Video worthy. Uh, uh. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a little bit of a shortcut uh, that I've been taking. I still gotta widen this, but let me show you what, what I've been working on. It is this little guy. The mast probably has to, to be a little bit taller, but uh, let's. Uh, I think I have some shears here. Shear yep, yep shears and I, I am going to make a, a little sail even though this does have a, some sort of a mechanism thing here uh, but <laughs> let's uh, let's see what we end up with I don't want to start losing all the walls here so please game don't uh oh dear lord I am just all over the place. I cannot place one single block in the place that I want to place it. Okay, and you can go uh, there. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's go one further up. Yeah, kind of like this. And then like this. And like that. Oh, the sails. They're supposed to be... Uh... Wow! Wow! Uh, I was way off. <laughs> uh, yeah, but but anyway, the sails. The, this is something that people, uh, that lots of time people fail to take into consideration. If a ship is in port, uh, it should not have its sail. Uh, give me a break, please. Just this once, just today, please. Thank you. Okay. If a ship uh, is in port, it should have its its sails furled up, or it shouldn't have the sails unfurled. And yeah, yeah, I think that uh, that pretty much does the job. There's just one little guy here bugging me. There you go. And I think that is pretty much it. So we have a, a teeny sail here. Uh, I actually want to add just one extra detail. Right here. Just like this. There. Maybe. No. I had the correct number of things. Okay, perfect. And, uh, okay. Okay, just for good measure, a little torch there. This kind of sticks out a little bit, the furled up sail. Uh, hmm. Oh, we'll manage. We'll make it work. M Ranky, Ranky has been doing some designs 
some sail designs, uh, some sail, some ship designs, so I'm sure he'll be able to work on this, uh, or to improve uh, upon this. But yeah, see, already there we have a little uh, thing, or a little automatic ore, that's what I'm calling it, deal with it. Uh, an automatic ore there, a uh, round ore, if, if I... If I may add and a few chests so it indicates yes this is a pier and uh, boats come up to it and unload stuff and speaking of unloading a couple of minute details here there you go little yeah, we can even do this and one is up okay I like that uh, no, if the trap doors are serving a function here, are serving a purpose, uh, then we shouldn't just add another another set of trap doors that uh, uh, that is simply uh, for aesthetic purposes. And the hard part is rounding out. Can I? Thank you. Is rounding out such a small thing. Uh, this does. What did I do here? Oh, I added a slab. Okay, that that might work. Uh, that that's probably better actually. Uh, I was right the first time. Okay, get me up there. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, our little harbor town is starting to take somewhat of a shape. We have uh, some water being piped in. To the town itself and a little boat there and I think this is gonna make an awesome screenshot but that is going to be it for today fellow eccentrics thank you very much for watching please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't and until next time as always I have been the Neural and I hope you have an awesome day